Hello and welcome to my channel Pharma Companion. Today we'll discuss about the topic nucleoside transporters, HPEP transporter, ASPT, OCT, OATP, BBB coline transporter. So let's begin with the topic. So first nucleoside transporters, they are the transporters that uh, occur in the epithelial tissue of intestine, kidney, liver and brain and involving uh, their mechanism in drug absorption, distribution and excretion. As these transporters transport both naturally and synthetic occurring mo nucleoside molecules that are used as anti-cancer drugs like clidribine and antiviral drugs. Nucleoside transporters are of two types, CNT and ENT. CNT are further uh, classified into three, CNT123 and equilibrative nucleoside transporters are further uh, divided into two, ENT1 and 2. So ENT is equilibrative nucleoside transporters are broad, effective and low selective and are ubiquitously located there. That means that they are located in uh, different regions of the body and CNT uh, concentrative transporters are high selective and high affinity and they are located in the epithelial cells of intestine, kidney, liver, brain uh, showing their involvement in drug absorption, distribution and excretion. Uh, so a more comprehensive study generated distinct models of CNT1, 2 and ENT1 with both pharmacopoe and 3D QSIR modeling techniques. So that means that uh, a model of nucleoside transporter ENT1, CNT1 and CNT2 has been prepared which shows uh, what are the specific characteristics or structural features of the drugs that are responsible for anti-cancer and antiviral activity. So if that model is uh, formed, nucleoside model is formed, that means that any drug that transports through these transporters must have uh, or should have or will have anti-cancer or anti-viral activity. Second transporter is human peptide uh, transporter, which is a low affinity high capacity oligopeptide transporter. Uh, that transports a wide range of substrates including beta lactam antibiotics and ACE inhibitors. It is mainly expressed in intestine and kidney affecting absorption and excretion and a pharmacophore model of this uh, HPEP transporter has also been prepared uh, which shows uh, structural requirements as two hydrophobic feature, one hydrogen bond donor and one hydrogen bond acceptor and one negative ionizable group to be HPEP transporter requirements. So for any compound to be transported through the HPEP transporter it needs to have these requirements two hydrophobic features means two uh, lipophilic features one hydrogen bond donor one hydrogen bond acceptor and one negative ionizable group so this pharmacophore model was applied to screen the cmc chemistry manufacturing control database with over 8000 drug like molecules uh, which shows the antibiotic uh, anti diabetic uh, repiclinide and hmg coenzyme re reductase inhibitor Fluvastatin was registered by the model and later verified to inhibit HPEP1 with sub-millimoral potencies. This work demonstrated the potential of applying in silico models in high throughput database. So, a HPEP transporter uh, can be applied in uh, evaluating the in silico properties of many drugs. Same like uh, the previous nucleoside transporter. The third one is the SBD transporter named as apical sodium dependent bile acid transporter which is a high efficacy high capacity transporter expressed on the apical membranes of the intestinal epithelial tissues and cholangiocytes. It assists the absorption of bile acids and their analogs thus providing an additional intestinal target for improving the drug absorption. Penningos and colleagues developed a pharmacophore model of ESBT based on training seven sets of chemically diverse um, inhibitors of ESBT. Uh, and this model showed that ASBT transporter requirements are one hydrogen bond donor, one acceptor, one negative charge and three hydrophobic or lipophilic centers. It means that any molecule or any moiety that wants to be transported through the ASBT apical sodium bile uh, dependent acid transporter so that must have these features one hydrogen bond donor, one acceptor, one uh, negative charge group and three hydrophobic centers. These requirements are in good agreement with a previous 3D QSAR model derived from the structure and activity of 30 ASBT inhibitors and substrates. The next transporter we are going to talk about is OCT transporter which is the organic cation transporter that facilitates the uptake of many cationic drugs uh, across the different barriers membranes from kidney, liver and intestine. 
A broad range of chemical and metabolite fall into this criteria of organic cation, which carry mainly a, a positive charge at physiological pH, including antiarrhythmics, beta adrenoreceptor blocking agents, antihistamines, antiviral agents, and skeletal muscle relaxants. So uh, these are the major uh, type of uh, drugs that uh, are transported through the OCD transporter. And OCD transporter have been cloned from different species of OCD 1, 2, and 3. And a human OCT1 has been developed by analyzing the extent of inhibition of T uptake in HELA cells of 22 diverse molecules. Uh, the model suggests that transport requirements of human OCT1 are 3 hydrophobic or lipophilic features and 1 positive ionizable feature. That means that any molecular moiety to be transported by the OCT transporter must need to have 3 hydrophobic features and 1 positive ionizable feature. And also the molecular determinants of substrate binding to human OCT1 uh, 2 and rabbit OCT the OCVT2 were uh, re recently reported. Both 2D and 3D QSAR analysis were performed to identify the and discriminate the binding requirements of through and uh, two orthologs. The OCT in silico models and the different models of uh, different in silico models of OACT, OACT, OCT, and uh, other transporters, nucleoside transporter. They all, they all suggest that what is the requirement, what is the basic requirement for any drug molecule to be able to go through this transporter or to be able to transport it through this transporter or across the different barriers, uh, different biological barriers in our body. If they are, uh, if they are evaluated for testing and evaluated for transporting through these transporter, that means that they have the uh, general requirements of different categories of action. This model shows the same chemical feature highlighting their similarities. However, the orientation of a critical hydrogen bonding feature set the two orthologs apart. This work illustrates the sensitivity of in silico modeling in discriminating similar transporter. Next is OATP transporter, which is organic anion transporting polypeptidin that influence the plasma consumption of many drugs by actively transporting them to diverse range of tissue membranes like liver, lung, and brain. Because of their broad substrate specificity, OATPs are not only transport they, they not only transport the organic anions but also organic cations. Currently, eleven human OATPs have been identified as the substrate binding requirements of the best study OATP one B one best successfully modeled with the metapharmacophore approach recently. To assessing the training set of eighteen diverse molecules, the metapharmacophore model identified three hydrophobic features with two hydrogen bond acceptor uh, to be the essential requirement for OATP B1 1B1 transport. Similar requirements were derived for, from another 3D QSAR study based on RAT to ATP 1A5. So, for a molecule to be able to transport through the OATP, transporter must uh, have three hydrophobic or lipophilic features and two hydrogen bond acceptor features. The next and the last one is DB choline transporter, which is the highly uh, effective and selective transporter, which transports choline-like molecules or choline-like charged ion across the BBB into the CNN. This transporter is a new native nutrient transporter. It actively transports, assists the BB penetration of choline-like compounds and understanding the structural requirements and it should afford a more accurate prediction of the BB choline transporter. Even though BB choline transporter has not been cloned, Gilden West and colleagues applied a combination of empirical and theoretical uh, methodologies to study its binding requirements. And they found out that what are the uh, requirements for the BB choline transporter. So the molecule needs to have three hydrophobic interactions with one hydrogen bonding interaction surrounding a positive charge ammonium moiety. And the 3D QSAR models were built with empirical key data obtained from in situ guide brain perfusion experiments with structural diverse set of compounds. Even though the model's statistical significance is not optimal, it does provide a useful estimation of a BV choline transporter binding requirements. More accurate in silico models would be generated once higher quality data from the choline co cloned BBB choline transporter are available. So this is the end of the topic. Thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe.
my channel and like my videos thank you so much